All right, so this is part two of, of my New Year's Eve video. Even though it's not New Year's Eve when you're watching this, it most likely is that just watch it anyway. It's not really, re, you know, related to New Year's Eve anyway. But also, um, just in case it's your first video of uh, watching of mine, I'm 25 years old, been sober for almost five years. July 2012 would be five years sobriety. Um, and just so you know, uh, tonight is New Year's Eve at 11.59 p.m. with 59 seconds. I'll be seven years, no cigarettes, hooray. And I don't um, drink or anything else. I am 100%, I just, I am sober. Anyway, so check this out. So this is part two. Because I drag stuff on, I have to make another video, and this is it, part two. So watch part one so you know what I'm talking about, if you haven't already. So here goes part two, what else I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, in order to get to that dope, amazing place that I was talking about, that, you know, this this place that everything is dope, everything is perfect, or everything is tight, everything is, you know, the best, the best possible way to live. In order to get there, you must travel there. See now, um, and like I said, the hardest part about traveling there is convincing yourself for one, and then that second hardest part is actually getting started, putting your boots on, getting your getting your, your, your whatever, getting everything you need, and hiking there, man, because it's not, you can't fly there, you can't take a plane there. This place is so, this place is so darn cool, it is like, it's hard to get there, man. Kind of like in that movie, The Beach, remember that, where they had to like swim and take a little boat and then a raft and then blah, 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 blah. but when they finally got there, it was paradise, right? Um, so this is paradise, there you go, paradise, man. This is like paradise, par a goal of paradise, okay? Your goal should be to get to this paradise place I'm talking about, okay? Now, for for those people who are not sober, they don't even know what I'm talking about, okay? There is a paradise place, and I can tell you about it because, because I've actually taken all the steps to get there, okay? Now, check it out. So, I'm telling you, the hardest part is, is getting down there, and, um, and I've done that. Like, let's say it takes three months to get there. Three months of, like I said, it's it's hard to get started. Once you get started, it's nothing, and you, you enjoy the whole trip there. Well, let's put it this way: it takes a whole week of hiking, but then after that, after that first week, then you get on like a a raft, and it's just you're just chilling, and in, and you're just there. But um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, the the hardest the hardest part of the whole trip is say the first week, and then that second week isn't as hard, and that third week isn't as hard, and at some point you are in a vehicle traveling there. Put it that way. I mean, that's how easy it is. And then three months later, you're there. Okay. The only people that can ever, the only people that know about this place are the people that have taken the the time and the effort to get there, which is very few people. Now, out of most potheads, know a lot of people. They're, I mean, I don't know out here anyway. We're all, everybody's just kind of linked and it's like an underground community. I mean, it would be a straight, like opposite, opposite, like kind of people, but they somehow interact every once in a while because they're like fiends and they're like, they want the same thing. So they will communicate anyway. So of all the people you might know, think about those hundred people or whatever it is that smoke weed, maybe none of them ever quit. And, and so then that would mean you don't know anyone that's been to this place I'm talking about. And then that's probably why I sound so crazy to you. And I expect that, you know what I mean? If more people were to get sober, you would hear more people talking like me. But since it's very rare, it's such a hard thing to do. It's like winning the lottery or something almost. I mean, like the, like the, the numbers, um, it's rare. It's, and then that's why I, what I say sounds so foreign to a lot of you, even those people that want to quit. It's like, gosh, no one in my life talks like this. You know, this is exactly what I was looking for. Or for those pro weed people, what's this guy talking about? He's crazy, you know? And I expect that. But anyway, it's because you don't know anyone that's been to this place. Um, but anyway, and it takes three three months to get there. And it is it is a hike. It takes effort. You know, you have to really try and you have to really want it. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is to those people who are pro weed, you cannot even judge sobriety because you have not been there you are not there you know what i mean it's not like you took three months out of your time and got sober 100 percent sober you know that's that's how in my opinion it takes three months to to actually feel sober i mean to 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 feel the most sober but you start feeling sober like after eight days 12 days 14 21 30 you know you start feeling sober right away but 
it gets better and better and better. And then three months later, you actually feel like a level that I would consider, okay, that's sobriety mode. And then after that, it gets more and more sobriety too. Six months is way crazier than three months. And then a whole year is way better than six months. But it's not, it's not like it's not like these people who are arguing with me or, or writing those comments or whatever. It's not like they got sober, you know, spent a year in sobriety and was like, this blows, I'm going back. You know what I mean? No, they've been pothead since they started, and here they are trying to, trying to like judge what it's like to be sober or or make a decision. Oh, you know what? Being high is way better than being sober. You don't even know. How would you know? How would you know which one's better? You know what I mean? You have to try it. You have to get to this place first. Get to this place I'm telling you is so tight, so awesome, so amazing. Get to this paradise and then tell me that you don't want to live there. Get to this paradise and tell me that you don't want to live that way. Okay? I challenge you to, to take those steps, man. Do what it, do the hard thing, man. The easiest thing that I know how to do is to freaking just quit everything and just drink and smoke weed. That's the easiest way to live, man. I'm a man. I am a man, an M-A-N, an M-A-N. I, I do things the hard way on purpose because that's the way, that's the better way. You know what I mean? I don't eat microwave TV dinners, man. I cook my food. I eat whole food. I will eat freaking boom, chicken breast with brown rice. I will eat broccoli and cauliflower steamed. You know what I mean? I never used to eat like that. I used to eat TV dinners. I used to go to freaking drive through and get a, a dollar menu item. Hey, and that's, I mean, I'm not knocking fast food right now. I'm giving you examples, okay? But I do things though. I do, I, I spend a little bit more money to get that 91 gas, you know, but I mean, that's probably not that good of an example, but like I do the better way and it's worth it. Okay. You can, I can never come up with any example, any metaphor, any, any whatever that will come that, that will, that will equal this, that will relate to this, what I'm trying to tell you. Like, you know what I mean? Like there is no, um, there is no analogy that can compare to what to to the difference between um being high and being sober but i challenge you to get to this paradise i challenge you to start i challenge you to take that hike that three month hike i ta i challenge you to get there and you will you will start like you know when you're on a trip and you're like you love the whole ride there that's what it's like yeah the first week is tough the first week is uphill baby uphill you know what i mean you are hiking you are going upwards the whole time your legs are you're, you're using muscles in your legs that you probably never used before or freaking haven't used since like years ago. You know what I mean? You are trying. But then after a week, I'm not kidding you, it is like a, like slightly downhill. It's easy. You're just kind of like coasting, you know? And then after a freaking a few months, you are seriously on a ride and you don't, you no longer have to try. And once you get there, it's all automatic. There is no trying. I remember I bumped into someone and, and he, I, I was when I was like three years sober and he was like, Hey, what's up, man? What you doing? You still smoking? I'm like, nope, quit smoking. What? Fool was like, you must be trying so hard right now to be sober. I'm like, you know what? Actually, I'm not. It was only hard that first like couple of weeks, and it's all been automatic ever since. I don't even think about it. You know what I mean? So it's as if I never smoked. I feel like I don't have any permanent um, damage or any permanent like anything. You know, but I do like to reach out to you guys and talk about it every once in a while. But other than this, I'm not all thinking about it, you know, during the day. I'm like, oh, back in the day, I used to be a pot and like thinking about it all day long. No way. But, um, but yeah, you will never know about this paradise unless you t do whatever it takes to get there. You have to take these steps to get to this place I'm talking about. And I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, I will, you know what will happen if you get to this paradise and you decide that you don't want to be there? I'll give you a million bucks. You know why? Because you're not going to say that. I don't know anyone that gets to this paradise and then decides this place blows and then turns around and goes back. And if they do, God bless their soul because they're probably like, like chemical imbalance in the brain. They're probably really, really depressed, like suicidal, you know what I mean? Where they need drugs to like ground them, you know what I mean? Like they need drugs. like. You know what I mean? They should be like under, they should see a psychiatrist at that point. But that is like 1% or less, that's like point something percent of anybody who's ever gone to the paradise. You know what I mean? And I doubt it's ever happened. I challenge you to get to this paradise. I don't know if my video is going to cut me off or not, but I'll keep talking. And if not, happy New Year's brothers. Uh, but anyway, I challenge you to get there. And you can't, you can't 
you can't decide that you don't want to go unless until you get there. I mean, don't rule it out, okay? Um, I would not even make these videos if there was no difference, if being sober was not better. And I wouldn't stay sober if it wasn't better. And you wouldn't have these thoughts about quitting if there wasn't anything wrong, okay? And I am telling you, fact, this is fact, you would be a better person if you just get sober, okay? I don't know anyone that's better off because they started smoking weed, okay? Now, people like, sometimes people compare weed to other drugs and then they say, well, they'll just somehow say, man, blah, blah, blah. They're just, I don't know, they'll compare weed to other drugs and then they'll say it's not that bad, right? But then, but they're also trying to say that it's totally innocent, absolutely nothing wrong with it. And, and trying to say it's not a drug. If it's not a drug, then don't compare it to drugs. Compare it to pineapples. Compare it to something that's innocent. You know what I mean? Compare it to apples. Compare it to oranges. Compare it to something that is not a drug. It will stand out like crazy. You'll be like, what the heck are you talking about? You know what I mean? But yeah, standing next to heroin and, and then, you know, heroin was, you know, the freaking worst drug in the freaking book. But, but yeah, weed is bad. Inhaling any smoke of any kind Common sense, a 10-year-old can tell you this, is a bad idea. The only time you should ever inhale smoke is like when you're standing next to a barbecue pit or if something is on fire. And then even then you're like, your your instinct, you don't even notice you're doing this, but you're like walking in circles avoiding that smoke. You know what I mean? Your body does not want smoke. Your body was not designed to inhale smoke. It was, in, it was designed for freaking oxygen. When people talk about natural and this, natural that, Here's a little natural thing for you. Your body was naturally designed to inhale air, to get sleep and drink water and eat food. It was not designed to inhale smoke. You know what I mean? It was not designed to do that and then exhale. No way. That is contrary to nature. That is the opposite of nature. You know what I mean? And if you're a real nature freak, then you would think about the ozone layer too. And you'd be like, dang, I am ruining the ozone layer. You know what I mean? I am killing plants. I'm taking perfectly good plants ripping them out of the dirt, you know, these things that are creating oxygen, ripping them out of the dirt, drying them up, blah, 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 start lighting them on fire and then ruining the ozone layer. You know what I mean? You're, you're... <laughs> anyway, back to the paradise. Paradise is great. And I can tell you this because I've been there. And for those people who have taken the, you know, done the hard work into getting there, I commend you for that. That is so cool. I get emails every time, like, like, Every time I log in, there's an email or emails from people telling me that they are sober. Thank you so much. You have influenced me, like blah, 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 or, or I thank you eternally, just like cool stuff like that. And it, and it makes it all worth it. And I am so happy for those people. And I'd like to encourage you guys to quit too. Um, geez, I don't know if this video is going to stop or if it already stopped, but whatever. Um, I feel like there's a, a, a thing that I missed, that something I was supposed to... Um, talk about real quick it had to do with that paradise so if you're out there and you haven't quit yet then you don't know what you're missing okay because that's that paradise does exist and to get there you must take that thing that takes three months okay it takes three months to get there you must start you must convince yourself to first to you must decide to to head towards that paradise first and then you must physically literally get started you must put on your boots and walk out that front door and freaking as long as you're on your way you're gonna get there but you'll never get there if you're never on your way you know what I mean if you always like oh, uh, keep keep putting it on keep it on how the heck are you ever gonna get there you know what I mean you might god forbid something you might never get there if you don't start now you know what I mean if you don't quit now you'll never quit kind of thing and um and for all those, and I expect, you know what, when, when, when someone, when someone like, you know what, I'm going to make a, another video part three, just in case I get cut off or in case I already did. Right. So watch part three. I'm going to say something that's pretty darn cool. Okay. <laughs> all right. See you there.